Hi guys, I'm David from the Technology Today and today I'm going to bring you an overview of the swipe keyboard for Android. This video will be split up into four main segments. In the first segment, I'll teach you how to install the keyboard. In the second segment, I'll be teaching you all how to use the keyboard. In the third segment, I'll be telling you all about the special features. In the fourth and last segment, I'll be comparing this swipe keyboard with other competing keyboards around. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, in this segment, I'll teach you how to install the swipe keyboard onto your Android phone. First thing you gotta do is go to swipe.com. After you reach the site, just click get swipe. They'll redirect you to this page. In the top of the list, just click Android here. Look at the Android, Android logo. You click the download swipe beta button and you'll be redirected to this page. Right. And you just scroll down, you click the register button, and you'll re be redirected to another page again. And in this page, you gotta put your email address and your a uh, password. This these are needed in the installation process later, so keep it handy. This and another thing is that this email must be accessible via your Android phone, so you just put something which you can access through your phone. And you click agree terms and condition and you click submit. And instantaneously after that, you will receive a an email from the swipe team, and they'll be saying they have a few steps here. The first one is this code. This is a five-digit code. Just keep this handy. You'll need it later. And they'll have a link here. You just click the link, and they'll bring you to this page. And in this page, you there's a there's a link to download. This is actually an APK file for their software. Okay. The next thing to do is after you install the file, you after you install the APK the software, you you it'll be it'll, it'll pop out in your app drawer there. So you just type your email you type in just now, the password also. You click login and you type in the five digit code that you receive in your email there after con after it's been confirmed it's quite fast you just it has a link for you to download the latest version of swipe beta after that after you got that you can go to your settings menu you click language and input and you can click your default swipe beta and you can start using Okay guys, in this segment, I'll teach you how to use the swipe keyboard. Okay, first, let me take on my S Pen here. Okay, if you're a beginner, you don't know how to use swipe, you can always just slowly type, slowly just go through the lines here. Hello, how are you? You can just slowly, slowly do that, use it every day, and after a few days, you get used to it, you can do it fast and do it like hello and then like how are you okay that's as simple as that okay now let me go into the settings here you can learn the preferences here everything here is ticked on except for enable handwriting I enable handwriting because I use I sometimes I'm lazy to type so I just take out S pen and start writing Okay, other that you can use your language options. You can download other languages. I got Chinese here, and you have Swipe Connect. You can connect your email. So you, okay, guys. In this segment, I'll tell you all about the special features this keyboard has. Okay, the first one is this handwriting keyboard. Okay, you can use I. You can use your fingers. Say hello. You can use a stylus. Okay, it works perfectly. You can go back to keyboard, and then the next one is this voice di dictation. We we'll just click, and we cancel it. You can just uh, let me test it out now. Hello, how are you today? Period. Oh, sorry. Hello, how are you today? Period. Okay. See. Hello, how are you? Full stop. You can use question marks, full stops, commas, and anything you can think of. Okay, the next thing is 
this has remember your windows pc you can like click the control button and then you can copy things control c control v control x control a you can do that on this keyboard there's some this, this one very killer feature okay first you click you just slide your finger through this control a no this is this swipe button okay sorry swipe button a and then you see it's highlight everything so it's and then you click swipe button c and then you'll be copied to clipboard as you can see and then you cut and you click here see swipe button v you just slide through you don't need to click it so you can just swipe v swipe v okay, now i swipe a and the final one is swipe button to x deletes all of it okay there's this one special i don't call it special it's just weird that they put this shortcut here it's, it's like goes like this you swipe button G M it'll bring you to Google Maps. Let me see here. Okay, it'll bring you to Google Maps. You can use Google Maps. I don't know why they put that that shortcut there in the first place. Okay. We go back to the keyboard. Let me demonstrate that again. G M automatically brings you to Google Maps. Okay, to end up this segment, I'll show you the swipe keyboard on my Symbian phone, this is a Nokia 5800 Express Music I installed the swipe keyboard, you can download it from the OV store or the Nokia store ok, it's used like say hello how on you ok, you see it's quite good, you can move the keyboard up and down Okay, that's all for this. Okay, guys, in this last and final segment, I'll be comparing the swipe keyboard with some other keyboards which are popular in Android. Okay, first up is I'll run the stock, the stock Samsung keyboard. Okay. One good thing about this keyboard is the layout is a bit more wider than the swipe keyboard, and there's another special thing. Let me see. Activated. I put the S Pen on, it will automatically turn to writing mode. So, hello, and it'll be like this. Okay, that's one special feature of it. There is like XT9, it's something like T9 on your normal keypad phone. Pen detection, there's a lot, quite a lot of settings here. Okay, let's move on to the next keyboard, which is the swipe keyboard. This is the this, don't be confused with this swipe keyboard and the other swipe keyboard. This swipe keyboard is pre-installed on the various devices which are certified. The, the, the two devices I know is my Samsung Galaxy Note, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and the Samsung Galaxy S3 has it. That are what some of the devices I know. This keyboard is a bit bigger and it's a bit wider layout, but it doesn't have the that special Google Maps functionality you can copy paste and everything but it's just lacking can change you can't change the theme of it and there's some features lagging so that's why I changed to the beta version okay other than that this keyboard is some is like a swipe keyboard the final and last one is the where is it let me configure the input methods um, let me enable Jelly Bean. Okay, this Jelly Bean keyboard. This keyboard is quite popular. I really like Jelly Bean. It's very good at auto correct. Okay, this is this one of them from the Play Store. You can download uh, quite a few of them. With this keyboard auto correct, auto correct, correct is fairly good. But you don't have that like swiping feature there, and you have. But you have audio you can can use it's under Google's one I'm gonna stop it okay to end things up I'll wait, move it back to the swipe keyboard so beta okay I'll be using I'll be comparing it with this this the iOS keyboard which is presumably one of my the keyboards which I love the most let me turn it into portrait mode Let's put the phone here. This is a swipe keyboard here. You can like type. I really love this. You can like sweep it in a half here. You can like, start typing with one hand operation. Say 
Hello. The autocorrect here is really fairly good. Hello, iOS keyboard. Sorry, I can't quite type that good in camera. It's pretty. And pull it up. Okay. It's pretty amazing indeed. Okay, that's all. For okay, guys, this has been my overview of the swipe keyboard for Android. I really, really highly recommend you trying this keyboard for a few days. After you, after you slowly learn how to swipe the keyboard, you learn the tactics of it. You'll really love this keyboard. It's very highly functional. Okay, um, make sure to check our article on the swipe keyboard on our tech site at www.megapowertech.blogspot.com. I'll leave the links for that article in the description after it is available. Um, if you want to ask us anything at all, anything about tech, anything about this video, um, you can tell us below in the comments or you can go to find us in our social networks at the technology of today in the name or you can find us at Facebook, Twitter, Google and Google Plus. And make sure to like the button, click the like button below if you like what you're seeing, if you can subscribe or button that that's really helpful and that's all thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye